So this is the tutorial for Wati mobile app. First of all, you will see different buttons. You can sign up for trial directly here using your social account. And you can also sign up for your current account of Wati. So what I do, I'll put my information, um, either email or phone number, type my password right here, and then put your domain for your current Wati URL. So log in right here. And then you will arrive the inbox page of Wati, which is the main usage of the Wati mobile app. When you see the setting page, you will see first of all the chat, and then the setting, you can set your notification, whether to turn it on or off. Uh, you can sync your contact with your mobile phone, uh, check the app information here or log out directly right here. And you can also see the not notification center here. So in the main inbox page, on the right hand side, top corner you can filter the chat you have here send out a new message you can directly type a number or you can select the content the contacts that is already in your Wati all right so next step we choose the template message to send out and we can check the message preview here and also set the variable here and click send out that will be successfully sending out a broadcast so now I'm showing you um, when I use my own WhatsApp to send a hi to this Wati account. Of course, in your phone, you'll receive notification. Once you click in, you will see the chat appear right here. So you see the hi that I type, and also it will automatically taken by the board if you have your Wati set up with the welcome message here. And on the top, top here, in the red one, you can choose different topic. Right corner, you can submit the ticket status. So once you put, for example, pending right here, you can see that in the inbox page, it will show as pending. And next step, you can also assign the chat to different people with the plus button here. So you can see all the operator in the platform. Uh, I now assign it to myself. As you remember, I log in as Crystal right here. So after I assign it to myself, I can choose, let's say the quick reply. So I do not have to type every time if I want to contact to this, um, like, you know, answer the specific question. You can easily add the correct reply in the platform as well. So you can type an easy message like this, just save it, and it will be for your future use across the team. And you can easily reply here. You will see that I'm replying with my name in a certain time. So you can see who uh, have interaction with this client at a certain time. And you can also send document and voice message simply within the Wati app. So it works similar at the normal WhatsApp. You can also choose a template or choose the um, photo or video to send out from your phone as well. So now I'm going to show you the profile of a specific client. So you will see the basic information here, phone number, and you can also add attribute or you can say label directly. Let's say I add a label of birthday, then I type the value, let's say January. So I can add directly, just save it. And you will see the label right here. So in the future, it is easy for you to filter different clients within the label. And you can also look at the note session here to share across the team. So this is pretty much the usage. And at the end, you can solve the chat as well. So it will not show up in your inbox anymore because it will only show the active chat. But of course, you can always use the filter on the top corner to find all the chat.